Hi, I'm Alexander Turbo from Renee of Paris and Adirans. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a subject which is very close to my heart and very close to a lot of people's hearts that are out there. Today, I wanna to talk solely about hair loss and how to look after people that have going through hair loss, especially when they find out the news that they have been diagnosed with a cancer or a cancer-like illness when they're gonna need chemotherapy and with chemotherapy comes chemically induced alopecia, which is basically with treatment, your hair thins out and the hair keeps thinning, keeps thinning until you can lose all of it. Now there are different types of chemotherapy and you don't lose your hair with every single type of chemotherapy. However, if you are about to go through treatment and you know that you are going to lose your hair and you're kind of thinking, you know, what am I gonna do? Then I hope my few little tips and tricks I'm about to give you help. So I was a hairdresser for many, 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 many years and a wig specialist for 20 years plus. So that involved me having my own salon, but I had a private room at the salon where I used to see a lot of my ladies uh, that were going through hair loss related illness. So I always worked with Renee of Paris wigs because I think Renee of Paris wigs are the best and they're certainly the best across the board, especially when you're looking after people with hair loss related illness. So let me give you an example of what would happen in my salon. And if you are a salon owner thinking about getting into wigs or you're a wig shop owner and you're wondering how to broach this subject, I hope this helps. So for instance, I have a client that comes into the salon and she comes in with her bio hair that is long and curly and she's got the bangs in there. Not dissimilar to this style of mine. This is one of my new styles. This is Alexandra from the Alexander Couture collection. So this is one of my new designs. So say for instance, our client who comes into us has hair very much like Alexandra. Okay, she has this kind of, this length, this curl pattern, those bangs, and she wants it pretty much identical. At that stage in the game, what I tend to do is I sit down with my client and we go through absolutely every single wig and the benefits of that style and how that's gonna to react for her. Now, should that client then decide that she wants to have her hair exactly as it used to be, then the best thing to do is to find something almost identical to how it used to be. So imagine our lady has an ombre, okay? And she's got an ombre color and she's got the bangs and she has this length with the curl pattern. This is Alexandra in Creamy Toffee LR. The LR stands for the longer roots. Now at that stage, what I would do, I would order the wig, I would get the wig for, for my client and a very, very personal, personal, personal thing is to find out what the client would like to do with her bio hair. Now, some clients are very brave and say, shave it all off, that's fine. For me, the noise of the buzzer alone can be quite traumatic, getting the clippers out there. So not every lady wanted to do that. I mean, some ladies, I would just cut it short or remove weight. Whatever you decide to do, this is your journey and it's a personal decision. So once I've addressed the hair and I fitted the wig like Alexandra, and she's really happy with the wig and she goes away and she thinks it's fantastic and she feels feminine and feels a million dollars and basically has the confidence to be able to fight whatever it is going to come her way. So from that point, a little bit further down the line in treatment, everything's going well, everything's going great and we're finding that our lady probably now wants to have a little bit of a change or coming to the end of the cycle of the first cycle of chemotherapy. She came back to see us and she said, look, my hair is growing back, I'm feeling great. What do you suggest next? Well, obviously, if we want a seamless transition for our customer to go in from having treatment to then come into our salon and that client doesn't want anybody to know about that she's wearing a wig, then obviously until she goes back to her bio hair, we don't want it really long one day and then really short the next. 
So towards halfway through the treatment, if the client was feeling up to it, I would suggest changing up the wig and starting to go a little bit shorter in line that eventually we're gonna go really short and then eventually she's not gonna wear any wigs and she's gonna wear her bio hair because the treatment will have finished. So at that stage, according to our client, she can tell her friends and family that she went in for another haircut or she went to get her hair done, if that's what she wants to do. So I'm just gonna take away Alexandra. So Alexandra was in Creamy Toppy LR. Now in the same color family, I'm going with another wig from my range. This is Astrid. Now Astrid is in Creamy Toffee R. So the R stands for the root. So what we're after at this stage, we're after our client coming in, she changes her wig, she goes with this mid-length bob, she's still got the bangs in there, so it's not a million miles away. It's still the same color family. So for anybody out there that, you know, that you don't want to know that you've been through treatment, as far as they're concerned, you went to the salon, you had a haircut, and you had your roots done a little bit, because it's in the same color family. So this wig right here is Astrid, and Astrid is also one of the new wigs from my collection. So at this stage, we're expecting our client to have quite a substantial amount of her bio hair coming through. So this wig right here is an in-between wig, getting our client emotionally ready for when she's gonna take the wig off completely and go with a short pixie haircut. So the longer one has gone, now she's wearing this gorgeous mid-length bob with the full bangs or fringe, whichever you wanna say. And she's wearing that for quite some time and she feels great. But towards the end of treatment, when your own hair starts coming through thick and furious and with those lovely curls that come to it, it can start getting quite hot. So after whatever suits you, a couple of months, three months, four months, whichever feels right, remember it's a personal choice, then you would take this one off and you would go to a short style. And right here, again from the Alexander Couture range, this is Gabby. So Gabby would be your final wig within the transition. Now Gabby is what you would call a short pixie kind of urchin kind of cut. This color is Creamy Toffee. So we started with Alexandra in Creamy Toffee LR. We then moved to Astrid in Creamy Toffee R and we're now in Gabby in just Creamy Toffee. So again, all the same color family. So my message today for you was, you know, if you are new to working with people that are going through treatment, if you are about to go through treatment and you'd like to know exactly how I used to look after people in my salon, I would start off with a wig that was almost identical to the hair that they, they had when they came in. They would then wear that wig and they would have a very easy transition from their own hair to the wig hair and Ultimately, people wouldn't be asking questions. Halfway through treatment, we decide to go for a shorter wig because her own hair is gonna start coming through. So we go with a mid-length wig, and for everybody out there, according to what she's done, she's just had a haircut and had her hair done. And then the third and final wig of the transition, we go for a nice, short, lovely, choppy kind of pixie cut. And this will see her through until she is ready to take the wig off and roll with her bio hair. So for everybody out there that didn't know that you were having treatment or your client was having treatment, you just went with long hair, then medium hair, then a pixie cut, and then obviously your bio hair. And that is a very, very easily transition and emotionally prepares you for what's about to come. Please, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to get in contact with us. If you'd like to direct message me, uh, I'm Alexander J. Turnbull and I'm happy to talk to you about anything to do with this subject because it is very close to my heart as I'm sure it is to others of you out there. Again, thank you for tuning in today from myself, Alexander and everyone here at Renee of Paris and please keep following us on social media as we've got loads of tips and tricks. I hope today has been helpful. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.